Hi, it's Carrie. Today you can help me set up my watering hole. And yes, we have some troublemakers at the end. The alligator snapping turtle. This prehistoric looking alligator snapping turtle is the largest freshwater turtle in North America and among the largest in the world. With its spiked shell, beak-like jaws and thick scaled tail, this species is often referred to as the dinosaur of the turtle world. They have a large head with a strong beak-like jaw, scaly skin and large claws. Subscribe and give a thumbs up if you like wild animals. The lioness. They are smaller and more agile than males, but since their prey is still generally faster than them, they use teamwork to bring an animal down. The weaker or younger females help herd the prey into a semicircle formation and then the stronger females knock the animal down and make the kill. Can you tell me how many pink flamingos in today's video? The lion cub. Cubs remain hidden for one to two months before being introduced to the rest of the pride. A lioness gives birth to two to three cubs at a time. Pink Flamingo They are tall wading birds with mainly pink, orange or scarlet plumage which means feathers and long legs and necks. They live in shallow lakes, mangrove swamps and sandy islands in Africa, Asia, America and Europe. The flamingos eat algae which is an aquatic plant. This is what makes them their beautiful colours. When they want to eat, they put their beak into the water upside down. Their mouth fills with the muddy water and any plant or animal material remains behind once they pump the muddy water out of their mouth. Tiny hair-like filters along the beak called lamellae sieve food from the water. This is called filter feeding. The backward bending knee of a flamingo's leg is actually its ankle. The knee is out of sight further up the leg and covered by feathers. They like to stand on one leg when they want to rest with the other one tucked under the body. It may help to conserve body heat. The cheetah is the fastest land animal. They're easily identified by their sleek body and unique black spots on gold or yellow coats. Their spotted fur helps camouflage in the grass so it can ambush prey. The cheetah is well built for speed with its finely tuned, powerful body. And here's the cheetah cub. They like to hunt at dawn and dusk by stalking, catching and killing their prey, by knocking it over and then suffocating their prey with pressure on their throat. Their main diet includes smaller animals such as hares, warthogs, young wildebeest, gazelles and birds. Leopard cubs. They only weigh one pound at birth and open their eyes around 10 days later. They rely on their mother who is called a leopardess for everything. I love the way their bodies are crossed over each other. Cubs suckle for around three months and are kept hidden for about the first eight weeks to protect them from predators because they are very vulnerable. And here's a mother leopardess. Leopards hunt prey at night. A leopard protects its food from other animals by dragging it high up into the trees to eat later when they are hungry. A leopard's body is designed for hunting. They are fast, sleek and powerful, excellent swimmers, climbers and can leap and jump long distances. Grevy Zebra. It is the largest of the equids. It has a long head and neck and slender legs. The glossy coat is patterned with black and white vertical stripes that are much narrower than those of the plain zebra and travel down the legs to the hooves. 
the tall upright mane is also striped in a pattern that continues on from the neck. A wide black stripe along the back is very distinctive. They have a tan coloured muzzle with white edges. And here's the baby. When zebra foals are born, their stripes appear brown and white at birth. It learns to identify its mother by sight, smell and sound during the first two days of life. Within 15 minutes of birth, the foal is able to stand up on its own. Within an hour, it is able to walk with the herd. The Scarlet Macaw. They have large, powerful beaks designed to crush nuts and seeds. Their strong, flexible toes are used like hands to grasp nuts or a perch. They are intelligent and curious birds. The giraffe. Male giraffes sometimes fight each other over a mate by swinging their necks and heads at each other. This is called necking. They are the world's tallest living land animals. An adult male can grow to around five and a half meters. That's taller than three adult humans. For giraffes, drinking is one of the most dangerous times as it cannot keep an eye out for predators and is vulnerable to attack. Being tall is helpful for keeping a lookout for predators such as lions and hyenas. Their excellent eyesight allows them to spot hungry beasts from far away too. And this is the baby giraffe. The females give birth standing up, so newborns are welcome to the world with about a one and a half meter drop to the ground but they're quickly on their feet and standing and only hours later they are able to run with their mothers. Giraffes get most of their water from their leafy meals and only need to drink once every few days, which is probably just as well. The green anaconda, what a scary looking mouse there. It is a member of the boa family and is the largest and heaviest known snake. Their diameter can be up to 12 inches or 30 centimeters wide. They are dark green in color with two rows of black spots on their back and lighter marks on the sides. They can hunt on land and in the water, but prefer water where it can move with ease. It can stay under the water for 10 minutes before it comes to the surface to breathe. They are non-venomous and kill prey by using their strong and muscular body. Like other constrictors, anaconda will grab its victim, wrap its body around the prey and squeeze it until it dies from suffocation. They like to eat wild pigs, deer, birds, turtles, rodents, caimans and even jaguars at times. The African elephant is the largest land living mammal in the world. They use their tusks for defence, offence, digging, lifting objects, gathering food and even stripping bark to eat from the trees. The tusks also protect the sensitive trunk which is tucked between them when the elephant charges. In times of drought, elephants dig water holes in dry river beds by using their tusks, feet and trunks. And here's the elephant calf. Elephants give birth after almost 22 months of pregnancy. Each female elephant gives birth to a calf every two to four years. The young calves are tended not only by their mothers, but also by other females of the herd. Such a sweet little calf. The hippopotamus, what a jaw. It's the third largest land animal after the elephant and white rhinoceros. They are found in Africa. It is a large, thick-skinned, semi-aquatic African mammal with massive jaws and large canine tusks. Hippopotamus teeth sharpen themselves as they grind together. Their teeth can grow to 20 inches or 50 centimeters long. They like to spend a large amount of time in the water to cool off. And here's the calf. Hippopotamus have barrel shaped bodies, short legs and a huge mouth. They can run fast and be extremely aggressive, especially if they feel threatened and they are considered to be in the top 10 most dangerous animals in Africa. 
the Nile crocodile. The diet of the Nile crocodile is mainly fish, but it will attack almost anything it comes across, including zebras, small hippos, porcupines, birds, other crocodiles, and even people. It can be found in almost every major river throughout Africa, as well as many lakes. The crocodiles will ambush their prey by lying submerged in the water with just their nostrils showing. Then a sudden surge forward and they grab their prey, dragging it under the water to drown. Some crocodiles will also then roll their bodies repeatedly to weaken their prey. And here's one of the hatchlings. Now crocodiles have green eyes. The Nile crocodile is also a scavenger and can eat up to half its body weight at a feeding. We'll put the baby with its mother. Oops, that's a bit slippery. Hang on. The rhinoceros. Its name refers to a group of ungulates characterized by their uneven number of toes. They have thick protective skin, but it can be quite sensitive to sunburn and insect bites which is why they like to wallow so much. When the mud dries, it acts as protection from the sunburn and insects. They can run quite fast too. And here's the little rhinoceros calf. Rhinos are short-sighted and bad-tempered, which makes them very dangerous. They'll charge at full force and use their horns to kill or injure whatever they think is a danger or, or annoyance to them. Never get in between a mother and her baby or anywhere near an older male. The spoonbill, such beautiful colours on the feathers. Spoonbills are a group of large, long-legged wading birds, which also includes the ibises. It has a distinctive broad shaped bill and look at the beautiful colours on the head. And here's another look at the spoonbill. It really is shaped like a spoon. Tigers are the biggest species of the big cat family and this just happens to be my favourite tiger. The unique orange, black and white stripe pattern helps them blend into the forest and grassy areas where they live and hunt. Most tigers live in Southeast Asia China, Korea and Russia. Tigers like to live in swamps, grasslands and rainforests. A typical habitat would include trees, bushes and clumps of tall grass. They are solo hunters at night time. And here's the baby tiger. They quietly stalk their prey until they are close enough to pounce and then they kill their victim with a bite to the neck or back of the head. Tigers enjoy the water and are very good swimmers. The howler monkey. They are recognised as the loudest land animal in the world. They are native to the forests of Central and South America. These monkeys have short snouts with wide circular shaped nostrils. These noses are capable of smelling foods such as fruits and nuts from over two kilometres away. Their tail is prehensile which means they can grip with it. It has tactile pads, which means they can feel things with it, just like with their hands and feet. So here's all the animals at the watering hole. And here's Trouble, the black bear and the puma. Thank you for watching my video. Please stay right on here at Super Fun Reviews for more great videos. See you again soon. Please subscribe and share my videos on any of the social media sites that you like to visit. Thanks once again.